Wow, wow. The ground is so soft. Is it snow? I think it might be snowing. Could be, huh? How are you guys? Good morning. How are you? Who knows what Sunday this is? Okay. Nick, what Sunday is it? The fifth Sunday. Very good. You can go to the sit in the front of the room today. All right. How are you guys doing? Are you tired of the pandemic? Are you tired of wearing your mask? Don't get tired of it. We just have a little more time, huh? So we have to keep the masks on and stay a distance and get our vaccinations. And some of you might be in back in school now, right? Okay. We're still in Lent and we're trying to do positive things, right? We're not just giving something up. We're doing positive things. All right. Let's say our prayers. Ready? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning. Buenos dias. Magadamo maga. Konnichiwa. Ni hao. Salwe. Chimitzil. Anyang haseo. Namaste. One more time. Namaste. Okay. Let's do sign language at the end because I have to reteach you a little bit. After namaste, we're going to do bonjour. Buongiorno. Again, buongiorno. Bon dia. O caro. Suste. Dear God, thanks for the many languages in our world. Please remind me we all belong to your big human family. No matter what language we speak, no matter if we're boys or girls, no matter what country we live in, no matter what country we were born in, no matter what religion we are, we are all your children in your big human family. Please help me be a peacemaker in our big human family. We love you. Amen. In the name of the ready together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And help your little brother and sister, because maybe they don't remember it yet. Try it again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good job. Give yourselves a drum roll for that. Very good. Okay. Let's see. Oops. Let's see what song we're going to sing today. Okay. How about Love in Any Language? All right. Let's whistle it first. Ready? Okay. Let's try it a little lower, huh? Here we go. Love in any language, straight from the heart, pulls us all together, never apart. Louder. And once we learn to speak it, all the world will hear. Love in any language, fluently spoken here. Yay! Give yourselves a drum roll. Good job, you guys. Okay. Choo choo. Okay. Paving. I love the paving one. Oh, oh, oh. 
Good job. And how about a fake clap? Your hands don't touch. All right, good job. All right, okay. Let's see. We might do one song at the end because the reading's a little bit longer today, I think. Let's, um, let's do the reading because we might be able to have a little play. We'll see. Let me think. Where? Oh, I'm right here, huh? Well, let's see. Okay. Mm. Wow. Do you know how that happens? I don't either, but it works, right? Who knows what Sunday we're in? Is it? <laughs> The fifth Sunday. I thought you were teasing me. It's the fifth Sunday. Is it ordinary time? No. We wear what color? Shout. Tell me what color you wear. Purple. And we're in Lent. Okay. So we're the fifth Sunday of Lent. Okay. So let's listen to this. It's from the Gospel of John. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you for certain that a grain of wheat that falls to the ground will never be more than one grain unless it dies. But if it dies, it will produce lots of wheat. If you love your life, you will lose it. If you give it up in this world, you will be given eternal life. If you serve me, you must go with me. My servants will be with me wherever I am. If you serve me, my Father will honor you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. One more time, a little bit louder. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Very good. So, Jesus is talking to his friends, right? They've all been, you know, waiting for him to talk. And all of a sudden, he pulls out of his head an idea of a grain of wheat. So let's see. How many of you want to be, this is what we're going to need. We need Jesus, and you're all his friends, okay? We need somebody. We need somebody to be a grain of wheat. Who's going to be? Get in your house one person that can get on the floor and be a grain. Because if it doesn't get planted right, it doesn't make more. Okay? So we need a grain of wheat. And you can pick up and pretend you're holding the grain too if there's a lot of people there. Ready? So Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you for certain that a, a grain of wheat that falls to the ground will never be more than a grain of wheat unless it dies. Okay, try that again. Can you think of this? You see seeds, right? They're almost always dry seeds. If you replant things when they're um, still moist, they don't really grow. You have to have dry seeds. So that's what Jesus is talking about here. I tell you for certain, do it again, that a grain of wheat that falls to the ground, so the kids should be falling in your house, right? will never be more than one grain unless it dies first. But if it dies, it will produce lots of wheat. So I'm going to read it to you again, and you see what you think. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you for certain that a grain of wheat that falls to the ground will never be more than one grain unless it dies. But if it dies, it will produce lots of wheat. If you love your life, you will lose it. If you give it up in this world, you will be given eternal life. If you serve me, you must go with me. My servants will be with me wherever I am. If you serve me, my Father will honor you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, he's, let me tell you this in a minute, okay? Let's see. 
where am I going to put this? I don't know what's going to happen to it. Whoa, okay. Um, so imagine all the wheat fields that you see. I don't know if you ever see any. There well, used to be some wheat fields around here in Chino Hills, but there might be one or two somewhere. But you see other things. But think about wheat. A lot of pieces come off the wheat. And they're tiny, tiny things. But when you get them to plant, they're always dried. And we think they're dead. But they're always dry. And when you plant them, you plant them in the soil and you water them and probably put fertilizer on them. And that's when they grow. But if the wheat plant is alive and the things all fall off at the wrong time, they don't, they don't dry out then. You have to wait until a certain time it's been there and then they dry out and then you replant them. So it's important for us to follow it's not that it's a rule, it's how the thing works. Like when you go to school, if everybody keeps yapping and talking when you get there and no one stops you at three o'clock or whatever time you get out of school, 2.30, everybody's still talking and yapping and you didn't learn one thing because everybody kept talking too much. So if it's an important thing sometimes to follow rules. Sometimes there's less important rules, okay? And maybe next time I'll ask you, what are some less important rules, okay? You know, wear, um, wear your shoes outside. Well, most of the time we do, but I love to go barefooted. I love to go barefooted. Even if it's raining, I go outside barefooted. I love to go barefooted. Anybody else like to go barefooted in the rain? No? Okay. All right, but it's not a rule, you know. There's things that are not rules, but sometimes people turn them into rules. Well, you think about what Jesus said about the grain of wheat. If it remains just a little single grain there by itself, that's all it's ever going to be, a little single grain of wheat. But if it dies, it dries out, and you plant it, it grows into more plants and more things things at the top of them, more flowers, then those little seeds come out and more come from it. And that's what we always want. We want the best of things to happen always. Sometimes the worst of things happen, but mostly we want the best of things to happen. So we try to follow those rules when we're planting, right? So we ask God to help us. Dear God, please give me a good week at school. Let me work hard and not talk all day. Let me be kind to the people that no one's kind to. And not let me fight with the kid that always bugs me. Okay? Amen. All right, boys and girls. Good job, and I'll talk to you next weekend. Who knows what next weekend's going to be? Palm Sunday. All right. Bye-bye. Have a great day and a good week. Thank you.